Hello, husband. I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel bad on myself and I'm ashamed. I want you guys to forgive me. The person that I was when you first met me, that's me. That's Bravo B. The person who was that clip, I'm still trying to find out who that guy is. Because that's not me. I've never been a perpetrator and I'm not planning to be the one. That was supposed to be a joke that came up wrong. Now who's the joke? It's me. I miss you all to Elema and Z. Guys, that was not our intention to do anything harm to you. I really do. Ah, oh my God, what an emotional evening. Guys, we all know the incident that happened, you know, a few days ago that led to Bravo's disqualification. He has officially apologized to the housemates, to Laima and Z, you know, he said he's not that person. He has never been the kind of person to force himself on any woman and he will never be. That's what he said was just a joke. Okay. It was meant to be funny. By the end of the day is the joke now. And what he has said has cost him his career. Okay. He's learning and he's really, really sorry. Who? We saw on the show, you know, the very jovial, smart guy is who Bravo B is. Whoever spoke about wanting to, you know, sleep with Laima when she's drunk, that has never him, okay? That was just meant to be a joke and he's so, so sorry. I don't know. To be honest, something in me just feel that that guy is innocent, to be honest, yes, what he said, that statement he made as regards to wanting to sleep with Lima when she's wrong is very, very appalling. It's something you should never say. But somehow, with the Bravo B I experienced on the show, I just felt this is a terrible mistake. We are humans, we learn every day, okay? I've seen a lot of people say, yes, he deserves it blah 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 we are human at the end of the day nobody is perfect okay nobody is perfect everybody will learn every day and sometimes some people make mistakes so that we will learn bravo b made a very huge mistake and makeke has learned the hard way it was so emotional the housemates like whew. even leama that has been talked about started crying because Nobody saw that coming at all, at all. None of them expected him to be, disquali to be disqualified. <sighs> at the end of the day, God knows the truth. God is the one in charge of our destiny. And I still wish Bravo be all the best. I wish him all the very best. I know he's human. He has made a very huge mistake. And I really pray that God will see him through because... <sighs> It's not easy. It's really, really, really not easy. Are you guys dating or are you still in your talking stage? We're like, but it's more to the side of like the dating side. So. And away from that guy, I just want to quickly give you guys updates as regards to the incident that happened this evening. We all know what is trending at the moment, which is Mpumi wanting to insert herself into Laima's and jared conversation so after the whole eviction jared and umpumi had conversation all right and we've come to realize that jared spent some time with umpumi the very first day they came on the show all right from what they discussed jared slept on umpumi's bed so Mpumi is now feeling like, okay, for a guy to sleep on my bed, it means you are feeling me. It means there's something you like about me. So Jared was basically saying that Mpumi is a speck, okay? And if Laima was not in the house, you would have, you know, look forward to a ship with Mpumi. Jared said he actually went to... Mpumi's bed, they had conversation, you know, getting to know Mpumi and they talked about relationship also, 
you know are you ready to you know have a relationship in the house jared asked him pumi if he's ready to have a relationship in the house and pumi said she has something going on outside of the house and that was the reason he deviated from Mpumi and gave Laima all the attention. So why is Mpumi all of a sudden interested? Because <laughs> Charit complimented her yesterday. Why? And Mpumi asked Jared, how far? What do you have going on with Layama? Because the first day you came, you said you are not ready for anything serious. So what is going on between you and Layama? And Charit said they are get, getting to know each other, that he feels what they have is solid and all of that. And Mpumi asked, so you think because of this thing now, I will not have a chance? I'm like, girl, can you just calm down? Can you just stop? Can you just stop? Yeah, the guy spent time with you the very first day. And he moved on. Why can't you move on? So him now complimenting her yesterday, saying that she looks good. And obviously, Pumi looks good yesterday. She looked really good yesterday. So she said, Jared's compliments, you know woke up the sleeping lion in her and all of that. I'm like, okay, baby girl really <laughs> wants Jari for herself and stuff like that. How do you think people in the house are feeling about our connection? Does? It's, that's, it's what they want. It's what the people want. I think we should play on it. And finally, guys, it may seem as though Z and Sinaye are about to give each other a ship okay we've seen sinaye and z they spend time together a lot there is this connection between the both of them but sinaye doesn't want to push further because it feels z and young papi have something going on already and even yesterday they kissed so they were both having conversation and z told sinaye okay we kissed yesterday Though there's nothing serious. And she said whatever that is going on between her and young papi is just friendship and nothing more. And she also mentioned that young papi is very young, okay? She said young papi is really, really young and she wouldn't want to be with somebody of that age. That young papi is just 22 and all of that and the kind of description she gave as regards to the kind of man she wants is giving everything Sinaye. so good luck to both of them Sinaye now asks Z, are you ready for us to play do you want us to do this do you want us to be in this ship okay she didn't want to say yes obviously she doesn't want to come up as being desperate but we can see that Z wants Sinai and Sinai wants Z also. So we'll see how it goes. All right. We'll see how it goes. And finally, Sinai asks Z, what do you think about what what are the housemates saying concerning the both of us? And she said, Yeah, they like it. They want both of us to be together and all of that. I'm like, okay. Oh, all the best. <laughs> So, fingers crossed, we'll be looking at Sinaye and Z because it seems like they've come to a reasonable conclusion. Z has said there's nothing really serious going on between her and young papi and all of that. And Sinaye is ready to mingle even though he has a girlfriend outside of the house. He's super aware of it, but he just wants to, you know, Explore the connection between him and Z. All the best to Bravo B. All the very, very best to Bravo B.